Hey y'all, welcome to Rich Aesthetic. I'm Rich, and Apple has finally done it. With iOS 16.4, they've added a set VPN shortcut action block to the Apple Shortcuts app, allowing us to now toggle, set on or off a VPN at the designated service that you set it to, which is freaking awesome. Um, I, a little bit over a year ago now, I made this video that I'll put a link up to up here. And it's gotten a little bit over, I think, 8,000 views and over 100 likes. So people, as far as I can tell, are super interested in this topic. And it was just a shortcut um, and automation that would check to see if the VPN's on or off, depending on which app you're opening, to then quickly open up, well, your VPN app so you could toggle it on and off. And this is because, um, as far as I know, besides NordVPN, None of these mainstream VPN services like Astral or Ac Astral? Ast no, Astral or ExpressVPN have automation services as far as Apple shortcuts or even terminal commands on macOS. Before we jump into the video, remember I always put chapter markers into my videos, so if you want to skip ahead or see what's up, check that out down below. And then if you like my videos, consider tapping that like button and subscribing. Cool. All right, let's get into it. First of all, what do we have to do? Well, if you have my shortcut from that video, and I'll link it again down below, all you have to do is change the open app action to the set VPN action. And then of course, make sure you have it um, either turning on or off or toggling, whatever it is that you needed to do based off of that situation. So we're gonna take a quick look at my shortcuts apps to show you that, and then I'm gonna go through some apps showing you the VPN shortcut working in action. All right, so we're in the Shortcuts app now. Uh, quick, by the way, for context, I live in Shanghai, China, so that's kind of why I'm in the VPN game. I'm sure you all have your own reasons for why you're using a VPN, um, but that's why I have my Western VPN check and then Chinese VPN check shortcuts here, because I do need them on or off, um, depending on what it is that I'm doing. Um, the Chinese VPN check shortcut does not turn on a Chinese VPN or a Chinese location. It actually just turns off the VPN when I'm using a Chinese app, just because it'll, I, I don't need the VPN for that situation, you know? All right, so let's jump into it. Um, here is the updated shortcut. So you can see here, I'm in Western VPN one, is checking if it's on, yes it is, and then it's connecting to the VPN if it is not on under the otherwise block. That's it. I've kept the open VPN app action there, but I have the stop the shortcut action, so it never actually initiates that. Um, that's just more for my memory reasons. That's it. Now quickly going into the Chinese VPN check, it does the opposite. So now it's, if the VPN is indeed connected, it'll disconnect from the VPN. Now the action block, quick look, if you tap on the first uh, parameter here, which says disconnect in my example, we can either connect, disconnect, toggle, or set it on demand or toggle it on demand. But I'm just going to keep it here on the disconnect to keep it simple. Now from the then the second parameter here, so Astral VPN is my service, you will have a list of services here. And you can even just choose one of the variables like ask each time if you do have many uh, services that you would actually rather choose from. That's not applicable to my situation, but it might be to you. Now. It would be kind of cool if Astral and ExpressVPN just got off of their asses and gave us better shortcut actions to use with their apps. But until then, this is the awesome or perfect workaround. So thank you, Apple, again, for providing us with this. So, yeah. All right. So now let's take a look at the shortcut actually running. Again, this is an automation-based shortcut, so we don't interact with the shortcut whatsoever. So let's do a simple one. Um, firstly, my VPN is off, not that that matters. So let's do something where it will turn on for us. So that would be YouTube is a perfect example. So YouTube app opens, nothing will load. Look at the top right. You just saw the status bar, yeah? We saw the 5G, that means we know the VPN is about to be activated slides in super sweet little animation and now we're on and indeed the youtube app did load i can go to my subscriptions shorts all of that is working just fine now the vpn is still on when we leave i don't have a 
shortcut automation that turns it on when I leave the apps, just because that's not usually the way that I use it. But I don't know, I'm thinking about it, maybe I'll do that, but that's besides the point. So let's go to an app where I don't need it. So one of the shortcut suggestions here is Alipay. So let's open that up and it should turn off the VPN. So we'll do that. Now, this time, you're not gonna see anything up there in the status bar, but if you do check, the VPN is off. So I think it would be kind of cool if we could get like a reverse animation of the VPN thing, or I don't know, something else that shows us that the VPN is off. Um, but honestly, if you did want like for sure a notification telling you the VPN is off, you could add that to the shortcuts. Um, so if you don't know how to do that and you want to know how to do that, leave a comment down below asking me to make a, I don't know, like a pro or uh, upgraded version of the shortcut with more features such as changing the VPN service on demand or giving you notification updates to let you know the status and I don't know things like that drop your ideas down below or if you have your own shortcuts with already these upgraded features drop that down below as well I think it's super cool that we have this little community here and obviously VPNs are a popular hot topic in the news because of things happening around the world so let's help each other out with some cool ideas so all right, well, that's the video. I hope you liked it. It just dawned on me that maybe you would like to see more services or apps running. So I'm just gonna go through a couple different apps that I have where it'll run just to show you that the concept does work and I won't make much commentary on this. We'll jump into Instagram here. Cool. Top right, VPN's on. And yeah, it even updated the feed and the stories up top and things are working as expected. All right, cool. Thanks for the suggestions, Instagram. So down here, um, let's just go into another Western app right away. So what about Facebook? <coughs> Excuse me. So obviously it's not gonna change anything because it does just, well, work. All right, cool. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, let's go into WeChat, that's a Chinese service, and just connecting, loading, so on. Okay, loading is done, and of course the VPN is off. All right. So now we'll go into another Western one. SQL doesn't work without the VPN. All right, so there we are. VPN's on again. Now you can see it's populated some of the uh, cover art. So that's working. I just watched Ted Lasso 4.5.1. Cool, all right, my bad. All right, uh, let's go into IQIY, Chinese Netflix, and load it up just fine. Okay, cool. Thank you, and yeah, VPN's off, so. All right, hopefully those are enough examples. And All right, well, that's the video. I hope you liked it. If you did enjoy it, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. It would really mean a lot. We're slowly climbing, and it's absolutely awesome that I can see my videos are having a little bit more of an impact um, and reaching more of you. So help me do that. Just know that I appreciate it so much. All right, until the next one, Rich Aesthetic out. Peace.